And what's up guys, welcome to our second episode of our playthrough of the deepest dark. So we're still waiting on Zack to get back to continue on with our, uh, our Outlast episodes. So we'll definitely have to uh, do that next time. But uh, where we left off, we, uh, we have the wind-up key and the screwdriver, and that's about it. If I can just get reacquainted here real quick. Yeah, well, we got the uh, the mushroom. That was right. I still think there's something going on in this room. Tell me nothing interesting. I doubt it. There's a piece over there I can't grab. And we went down there and we got the stone that was down there. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't know what the hell to do, to be honest. Go back and see what we got going on. Alright, there's something to do with this piece of paper. Why else would I be able to click on it? I think it's telling me the pattern in which these stones have to be placed. Alright, so what was it again? Shoot, I already forgot. Guys, I got a real bad memory. Let's see. So. Left. And that one, got it. That one down there. That one up there. So we need the four piece and then we need the straight line. Alright. Hmm. Empty. You guys are probably still all empty. Alright, so. As far back as we can actually go. Hmm. Hey, a wind up key. This is gonna make sense. Here we go. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Yeah, you're right. That would be very painful. Shit took a strange turn. Alright, so that's the screen transition. Seems like a lid of some sort. Okay. Anything over here changed? Tablet I can't get to. That's the screen transition. Yep, that is too. Alright. Hmm. In here. Oh, this room looks exactly the same. Nope, nothing in here. So I still got the screwdriver. All right, well. There's the tablet. It's a uh, yeah, leave that room. Right, 
That's the last one we need. Can I pry this? Can. Hey, there we go. A plus for effort. Bloody handprint. All right. All right, we got what we came for. Get the heck out of Dodge. Ooh, that was a uh, not not seem safe. Oh, uh, Got the heck out of there. Now I remember. They have gotten me. All this time I've been... One of them. Well, that was a sudden twist. All right. There he was, a traveler just like me before. The moment he saw me, he started running. My ticket out of here. My chance to finally wake up. just had to catch him to possess his sleeping body a body that I could wake up in but did I really want to have I really become a monster so easily a monster I feared so much it was so easy almost too easy I took his body away leaving him in the chaotic world I'll wake up now and the chaos of this place will follow me up to the surface Well, there you go, guys. That was the first game we've ever completed. It's a pretty good one. I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. A couple of jump scares. I know I jumped like two or three times this this video alone. The first time I know I I completely jumped out of my skin on that one part. That was that was something else. Not a fan. <laughs> But yeah, no, this game is actually pretty good. I'm just gonna let the uh, the credits roll here for a minute. Give the credit to where it's due. Really did enjoy the music in this game. It was pretty solid, quite enjoyable. The only thing that I had a problem with was the really loud music in the. Um, Oh, what's it called? Down in the uh, the church, because that was that was overwhelming. It really was. Oh, special thanks, Karen. Good guy. My brother Michael for ideas and play testing. He's a good guy. Yeah, Michael, you you the OG. It's for damn sure. Oh, you were very welcome, dude. I enjoyed playing this game. Yeah, definitely a good game. Well enjoyed.
But yeah, guys, definitely have to uh, stop back next Friday for our next Jump Scare Friday. It's been Wolfman Creates. Have a good one, guys. Hey guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you like what you saw, I got more up on the screen right here for you. And if you'd be so kind to leave me a subscribe, like, and make sure to comment down below.